We want to welcome you to this series on supernatural living to the, and healing through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. به شما خوش آمد میگیم که آمده تا سری درس هایی رو که درباره زندگی مافوق طبیعی و شفا از طریق دریافت عطایای روحانیه My name is Dr. A.L. Gill. اسم من دکتر A.L. Gill هست. And uh, God has been ministering, uh, had his ministering in many, many nations of the world. و خدا ما رو استفاده کرده در بین خیلی از ملت‌ها کار کرده. Privileges of our hearts is to be able to bring you this revelation on how to live in the supernatural. من امروز شادی که من دارم اینه که می‌خوام به شما بگم که چطور شما می‌تونید در بود مافوق طبیعی We're going to study these gifts of the Holy Spirit. امروز می‌خوایم عطایای روحانی رو با هم مطالعه کنیم. As a way of life. به عنوان یه روش زندگی the gifts of the Holy Spirit are not something that are just to operate uh, you know, after the song service and before the announcements on Sunday morning. They're a way of life. They're a way of living. And we're going to study these gifts as a is supernatural living through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're going to discover a whole new way of living. When we receive Jesus as our Savior, when we were born again, we became new creations. We became spiritually alive. We are spirit. We have a soul. We live in a body. But as spirit, we're to live in the spirit. Move in the spirit. And every day of our life, we live in the realm of the supernatural spirit of God. And through the operation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we're going to find a whole new way of living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14, it talks about the communion of the Holy Spirit. Many people think about, when we think about God, and how he's manifested in three distinct persons. We, we think about the Father, he, the Son, he, and the Holy Spirit, it. No, no, the Holy Spirit is a real person. And we need to learn how to come into a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Just as we come into a personal relationship with the Father and the Son. To commune with the Holy Spirit. To walk with the Holy Spirit. And just become a friend of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A whole new way of living through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. In 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 6, Samuel said to Saul, this is in 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 6, the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you in power and you will prophesy with them. And you will be changed into a different person. When the Holy Spirit comes upon us in power, we are changed. We're no longer natural. We're supernatural. When the Holy Spirit comes upon us in power, Samuel said to Saul, and you will prophesy with him. 
To prophesy is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes upon us in power, we will begin to prophesy or operate in any of the other nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. And you'll be changed into a different person. We'll no longer live in the natural. We'll live and walk in the supernatural. And these supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit will be in operation in our lives everywhere we go. A supernatural way of life. I tell you, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we're changed into a different person. And we begin to walk on the supernatural water. Like, like Peter getting out of the boat. And beginning to walk on the supernatural water. As we study these things together. We're going to all get out of our boats. And we're going to begin to walk on the supernatural water. And experience the supernatural. Are you ready to be changed into a different person? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. In Ephesians chapter 4. One verse nineteen and twenty. It says here in Ephesians one, beginning in verse nineteen. It talks about the exceeding greatness of His power toward us who believe. درباره عظمت بینهایت قوّت او نسبت به ما مؤمنین صحبت می‌کنه. That power that created this universe is toward us who believe. How many believers do we have? All right. All of us are believers and not doubters. Those of us who believe will experience the exceeding greatness of his power. According to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. And seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Resurrection power. The same power that raised Christ from the dead. Is toward us who believe. Those of us that will believe the word of God. Today we're going to believe. We're going to find out what the word of God says. And we're going to believe the word of God. Faith is going to come. And the resurrection power of Jesus is going to be manifested through our lives. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18 we see Jesus as he begins his earthly ministry. We see Jesus as he came to this earth as a man. Temporarily laying aside all of his rights and privileges as God. And he came to this earth in the form and the fashion of a man. No miracles for the first 30 years of his life. But then one day he was baptized in the river Jordan. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him in power. And there was a change that took place. Immediately, miracles began to happen. Everywhere that Jesus went. 
And here in Luke 4:18, as he began his earthly ministry, quoting from the book of Isaiah, he said, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me." The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach. To preach the gospel to the poor. To, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To preach, preach deliverance to the captives. The recovering of sight to the blind. Oh, hallelujah. And to set in liberty those who are oppressed. And the Spirit of the Lord is upon me today. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to come upon you today in power. And like Jesus, we're going to be changed into different people. We're going to prophesy. We're going to operate in all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're going to experience the supernatural power of God flowing through our lives. And we're going to be changed into different people. In Romans chapter 8, verse 11. It says, that's here in Romans 8, 11, it says, But if the Spirit of Him, who raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in you, He who get, raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. The spirit of God dwells within me. As a believer, the spirit of God dwells within you. You've got the Holy Spirit living within you. And in Luke 24, verse 49, he says that we are going to be clothed with power from on high. When we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we get a new suit of clothes. We're clothed with power from on high. You notice when I move, my clothes move with me. Aren't you glad? You see, my clothes move right with me. When I am clothed with power from on high, when I move, the Holy Spirit's power moves with me. When I reach my hand out to lay my hands on the sick, that power from on high just moves right out there with me. I live and move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Joel prophesied. In Joel chapter 2, beginning in verse 28. Joel 2, 28 and 29. He said, and it shall come to pass. Afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. All flesh. That's flesh of every religious background. Of every color, a race, a religion. Of every denomination. The word of God spoke through the prophet Joel. And said, I am going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters will prophesy. 
نبوت خواهند prophecy is one of the gifts of the holy spirit نبوتی که از عطایای روح القدسه when the holy spirit is poured out upon us وقتی روح القدس بر ما می ریزه Immediately we step into that realm of the supernatural and the gifts of the Holy Spirit begin to flow through us. He, he goes on to say, to say, your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. I'm glad I'm still seeing visions. من الان رؤیاها ها دارم میبینم هللویا هللویا بیکاز ام ا یونگ مان چون من هنوز جوونم اند آلسو اون مای مین سرونتس اند مای میت سرونتس بعد اون ایام روح خود را بر غلامان و کنیزان میز خواهم ریخت مای اسپریت این دوز دیز روح خودم را بر غلاما و کنیزان اون روز خواهم ریخت هللویا هللویا جیسوس از پورین اوت هیز اسپریت تودی سای مسی امروز داره روح خودش را بر همه بشر میگیره فادر از پورین اوت هیز اسپریت اف گاد تودی اون دی ارث پدر داره روح خودش رو بر تمامی این زمین می ریزه. و در لغا 2449 میگه شما به قوت از اعلا آراسته خواهید شد. این چطور میسره از طریق تعمیل در روح القدس. در لغا فصل 3 آیه 16 In the last part of that verse in Luke 3:16, John said, "I indeed baptize you with water." This is John the Baptist speaking. But one mightier than I is coming. And you, it says, when he, when the Holy, when the, this one Jesus comes upon you. Isa Masih Mia. He he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Ushamara Beruhol Rodos Vao Tashtamit Khahatad. He says, This one I'm not even worthy to unloose his shoe latch. Migamanata Liorat in Ronadaram Kibanda Nalena Urabas Kona. But this one Jesus will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Isa Masih Shamaro Ba. This is the work of Jesus. He is the baptizer. Jesus is here to baptize you today with the Holy Spirit and with fire. In Acts chapter 1, verse 5, Acts 1, 5, Jesus exclaimed, You shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So here at the end of, earth, of Jesus' earthly ministry, Before he ascended back to his father, he said, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And then in verse 8 of Acts chapter 1, Jesus said, you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And I say to you today. You shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You're going to receive power. And you're going to be changed into a different person. I tell you Jesus said it. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you shall receive power. shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth, the power of the Holy Spirit is the power to be a witness for Jesus. It is the power to do the works of Jesus. And in Acts chapter 2, 
We find that it all began on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2 verse 1 through 4. اعمال رسولان فصل دو آیه یک الی چهار Jesus had ascended back to his father عیسی مسیح رفته سعود کرده نزد پدره His believers were assembled praying in an upper room حالا ایمانداران جمع شدن در اون بالاخونه دارن دعا میکنن And it says here in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 اعمال رسولان فصل دو آیه یک And when the day of Pentecost had fully come چون روز پنتیکاست رسید They were all with one accord in one place یک دل در یک جا بودن And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. As of a rushing mighty wind. And uh, it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them. Divided tongues as a fire. And it set upon each one of them. And something happened. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. There was a filling with the Holy Spirit that took place. And when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, something powerful happened. They began to speak with other tongues. They began to speak in a language they had never learned. And the Holy Spirit gave them the utterance. Something, a miracle took place in their mouths. They began to speak in other tongues. They stepped into the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And, and Peter was explaining this in his sermon there on that day of Pentecost. It says in Acts 2.38. Peter said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is a gift. Don't have to work for it. Don't have to, don't have to beg for it. Don't have to tarry and wait for it. They were to tarry until the day of Pentecost was fully come. I've got good news for you. The day of Pentecost has come. And all we have to do today is receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is here today to baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 8, beginning in verse 14. We find the Samaritans receiving this gift. Acts 8, for, beginning in verse 14. Now when the apostles who were in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God. They, they sent Peter and John to them. Who when they had come down prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them. And they received the Holy Spirit. All we have to do today is receive the the Holy Spirit. It's a gift, a free gift. Just like salvation is a free gift. All we have to do is re reach out and receive that precious gift of the Holy Spirit. By faith. Now, 
The Gentiles received this gift to the surprise of the Jewish people. In Acts chapter 10, verse, beginning in verse 44, it says in Acts 10, 44, when Paul had gone to Caesarea, I'm, I'm sorry, as Peter had gone to Caesarea. And he was speaking to those Gentiles in the house of Cornelius. And it says, while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished. As many who came, as came with Peter. Because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out upon the Gentiles. از آنکه بر امت‌ها نیز عطای روح القدس بشد. How did they know that the Holy Spirit had been poured out upon the Gentiles? از کجا فهمیدن که امت‌ها روح القدس رو یافتند؟ غیر یهودیان یافتند؟ Because they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. زیرا که ایشان را شنیدند که به زبان‌ها متکلم شده، خدا را تمجید می‌کردند. The evidence of having received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. علامتی که اینها فهمیدند که اونها در was the same evidence that they received on the day of Pentecost. They heard them speaking in other tongues. And when they spoke with other tongues, they were magnifying God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then in Ephesians, uh, in, in the city of Ephesus, in Acts chapter 19, when Paul came to Ephesus, in verse 2, Acts chapter 19, verse 2, Paul asked a question. And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe. Did you receive the Holy Spirit? When they said to him, why, we've not so much as heard that there is a Holy Spirit. They hadn't heard about the Holy Spirit. But when they heard these words, Something happened. And he said to them, Into what were you baptized? Oh, they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, Well, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance. Saying to the people that they should believe on him that would come after him. That is upon Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So he baptized them in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke with tongues and prophesied. When they received the gift of the Holy Spirit, they stepped to the doorway into the realm of the supernatural. And immediately the gifts of the Holy Spirit began to operate in their lives. And they spoke with other tongues and prophesied. In Luke chapter 11, beginning in verse 11, Luke 11, 11 through 13. Luke 11, 11 through 13. Luke wrote these words. 
Actually, Jesus spoke these words. He said, if a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a scorpion? Of course not. But if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask for him? Our heavenly Father is waiting to give you a gift. How many of you know that when God gives us a gift, it's a good gift? And our heavenly Father is here today as we're watching this, this video tape. And he wants to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And he says, all we have to do is just ask him. Just to ask him. And we find every time that they receive the Holy Spirit. They begin to speak in other tongues. When Jesus was giving the great commission in Mark chapter 16, he said, we're to go into all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he said, and these signs will follow those that believe. He says, in my name, you will cast out devils and you will speak with new tongues. Jesus said that. Jesus said this is a sign that would follow all that believe. Paul calls speaking in tongues in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1. 1 Corinthians 13 1 he calls it speaking in the tongues of angels. This is the language the angels speak in heaven. It's a heavenly language. That we speak supernaturally by the power of God. You know, there's times when I'm praying in my own language. Or I'm praising God in my own language. And my, my language is so limited. God, I praise you. God, I thank you. God, you're so good. God, you're so wonderful. God, you're so powerful. God, you're so majestic. God, you're so good. Pretty soon I'd run out of words. Oh, but then I can shift into my heavenly language. And begin to speak in praise unto God in my language of the angels. The angels praise God round about the throne day and night. And never run out of words. For which to praise Him. Let's pray. 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 That language that I just spoke supernaturally by the Holy Spirit came supernaturally as the Holy Spirit 
was praising God through my spirit through my voice organs directly to the Father. خدا داشت از تمام این تارهای صوتی من استفاده می‌کرد. A miracle was taking place in my mouth. خدا رو داشت شکر می‌کرد و پرستش می‌کرد. But my understanding, Paul said, was unfruitful. معجزه‌ای در دهان من اتفاق افتاده بود. اما پولس میگه عقل من برخوردار نمی‌شد. These words did not originate with thoughts in my mind. این کلمات از فکر من نمی اومد. از اونجا سرچشمه نمی گرفت. They came supernaturally as the Holy Spirit spoke through my spirit and it came out of my voice as a miracle. اونها به طور مافوق طبیعی گفته می شدن روح القدس از طریق روح من و صدای in من صحبت می کرد. در رومیان فصل 8 beginning in verse 26 از آیه 26 شروع می کنم. Likewise, و همچنین here in Romans 8 uh, 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray as we are. Have you ever been praying? about something in your natural language and just didn't know how to pray. اگه شما می‌خواید درباره یک چیزی در اون زبان طبیعی خودتون صحبت کنید نمی‌دونید راجع به چی صحبت کنید. good news for you. به رسول when the holy spirit supernaturally prays. پیغام خوبی برای شما داره. وقتی که روح القدس به طور فوق طبیعی دعا می‌کنه. Through this wonderful gift of speaking in other tongues. از طریق این عطای بسیار عالی زبان‌ها. The spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit is speaking and praying through us. Now he who searches the heart knows the mind of the Spirit is. Because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. When I pray in the Spirit, my mind is unfruitful. But I am praying supernaturally according to the will of God for the saints. When I pray in the Spirit, it's not limited to my lack of understanding. But it always comes supernaturally and I'm praying with the power of the Holy Spirit. According to the will of God. And powerful things happen when we pray in the Spirit. And in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. Ephesians 6, 17 and 18. Paul wrote to the Ephesians that we are to take the helmet of salvation which is the sword of the Spirit and which is the word of God. The sword, we're to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit. We're to take the word of God and begin to pray in our new heavenly language. کلام خدا رو میگیریم و شروع میکنیم به دعا کردن در اون زبان آسمانی being watchful of this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints و برای همه ایمانداران با اشتیاق زیاد و جدیت دعا کنیم we're to take the word of God and begin to pray powerfully in the spirit of God کلام خدا رو میگیریم و با قدرت در روح خدا دعا میکنیم now I used to think before I received the baptism in the Holy Spirit that if I was to ever receive this gift, maybe I would be in the shower. And all of a sudden, I'd be standing there with my mouth shut. And all of a sudden, a, a funny sound would come out of the back of my head. 
And I'd hear some noise coming out of the back of my head called tongues. But I want you to look at Acts chapter 2 verse 4. Acts 2.4 On the day of Pentecost. It says, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they begin to speak. They begin to speak. With other tongues. As the Spirit enable them. As the Spirit gave them the supernatural utterance to do so. روح خدا به اونها این قدرت فوق طبیعی رو داد که you know you can't صحبت speak کن. with your mouth shut. تو با دهان بسته نمیتونی صحبت کنی. You have to open your mouth to speak. تو با دهان تو باز باشه وقتی صحبت. They begin to speak. اونها شروع کردن به صحبت کردن. The Holy Spirit gave the utterance. روح القدس قدرتشو بخشید. They begin to speak. اون وقت اونها شروع به صحبت کردن. The Holy Spirit enabled them. روح القدس به اونها قدرت داد. There's there's two parts here. اینجا دو قسمت هست. There's man's part. And there's God's part. There's man's part was to open their big mouths. And begin to speak right out loud. And God's part was to enable them or give them the supernatural utterance to speak. You say, Brother Gil, but will I speak? شما کرد بگید برای درگیل آخه من چی بگم چه صحبت می‌کنم؟ I don't know how to speak in other tongues. من نمی‌دونم چطور به زبان ها تکلم کنم. Get ready for your miracles. آماده بشید برای موجزهایی که می‌خواد برای شما تکلم کنه. You see, you can't speak two languages at one time. شما نمی‌تونید به دو زبان در آن واحد صحبت کنید. So you can't speak in your language. پس نمی‌تونید به زبان طبیعی که بلدید صحبت کنید. And the new heavenly language that you're going to receive at the same time. و بعدم به زبان آسمانی جدیدی که می‌خواد دریافت کنید. Oh, brother Gil, what will I speak? All languages of the world are made up of sounds. Sounds put together make words. Words put together make sentences. And sentences put together make paragraphs and languages. So if you can't speak your natural language, but you have to begin to speak like they did on the day of Pentecost. You have to open your mouth and just begin to make some sounds. بذارید که دهانتون یک صدای ایجاد اونها شروع به سخن گفتن And when we do our part و وقتی ما اون سهم خودمون رو انجام بدیم God will always do his part مطمئن باشید که خدا اون سهم خود When we open our mouths and begin to make some sounds وقتی ما دهان خودمون رو باز می‌کنیم و شروع می‌کنیم به ایجاد صدا اون وقت روح القدس سهم خودش رو انجام می‌ده a miracle will take place in our mouth. And we'll begin to speak right out loud. As we begin to speak and to make some sounds, all of a sudden a miracle is going to take place in my mouth. Let me show you what I mean. I open my mouth. And I begin to speak. La, ke, ta, me speaking. But watch what happens. Oh, Could you tell when the Holy Spirit began to give me the utterance? But that miracle did not take place in my mouth until I begin to speak. شروع به صحبت نکردم این معجزه نمیتونست در دهان من اتفاق بیفته. The day we're going to ask and Jesus to baptize us in the Holy Spirit. روزی که ما از عیسی مسیح میخوایم که ما رو در روح القدس تعمید بده. And I'm going to ask those of here those of you here that are in our audience today. من امروز میخوام از شما که اینجا هستید الان اینجا هستید. 
that would like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit to come and stand with us right now. And those of you watching on this videotape, I'm going to ask you to join your, your voices with those that come right now. Perhaps you too, like these, would like to move to the front of the auditorium or the, or the room where you're sitting. And come and pray this prayer with us right now. Because we're going to ask Jesus to baptize us in the Holy Spirit. And a miracle is going to take place in your mouth. You shall be, receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And as Samuel said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you in power. And you will prophesy. You will speak with new tongues. And you will be changed into a different person. Those of you here today, and those of you watching by videotape or television, I want you to join in this prayer together right now. Jesus is here to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. The Heavenly Father has a gift for you right now. I want us just to all raise our hands unto the Father. Right now. Raise our hands to Jesus right now. He's here to baptize you in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I want all of you right now just to repeat after me. And repeat after those that are translating today. Right out loud. Right out loud. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift. But Father, I want every gift you have for me. I want your gift of the Holy Spirit. I want your gift of the Holy Spirit. I need this power in my life. I need this power in my life. Jesus. I ask you to baptize me in the Holy Spirit. I ask you to baptize me in the Holy Spirit. I receive this gift by faith. I receive this gift by faith. I receive this gift by faith. Right now, Father. I raise my hands in praise to you. I open my mouth wide and begin to praise you. But not in any language that I know. Just like on the day of Pentecost. Just like on the day of Pentecost. I am going to begin to speak. And as I do, I thank you, Father, that the Holy Spirit is going to give me the ability to speak in a new language. Father, I thank you for baptizing each one right now in the Holy Spirit of God. Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Spirit right now. Just receive the Holy Spirit. 
Now open your mouth and begin to praise him in a new language. Every one of you begin to speak right out loud. Begin to speak right out loud. Boland begit, boland begit. In the Holy Spirit. Dar ruhol godos boland. La raba kan sendi dar raba sandara kianda. Rusha. Di dar raba raba sandara makan dar raba sanda. Oh la raba raba sandara kianda raba sanda. Ruka bara. Di dar raba raba kan zara mara yanda rama. I raba kan darosa. Oh wikiri yanda raba sandara kara yanda. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, We're having another day of Pentecost. We're having another day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, everyone, listen to me. Everyone, listen to me. You just received the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. And just like on the day of Pentecost. They all begin to speak with other tongues. As the Holy Spirit gave them the utterance. It's a language of praise unto God. But it's also a language of prayer. In 1 Corinthians 14, verse 15. 1 Corinthians 14, 15. What is the result then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray also with the understanding. When we Pray in the Spirit. Our understanding is no longer unfruitful. We can pray with our understanding. Because our understanding will be enlightened. And then he said, I will also sing in the Spirit. And I will sing with my understanding. When we sing in the Spirit, the angels are singing right along with us. Let's raise our voices right now and just begin to sing in the Spirit. Isn't that beautiful? The angels are singing with us right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Now listen to me. Shh, shh, shh. Listen to me. Your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. The Holy Spirit has just come upon you in power. And you have been changed into a different person. The Holy Spirit has come upon you in power. And you begin to praise and pray in another language. You step to the doorway of the Holy Spirit. And you've been changed into a different person. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen.